Hi everyone, I'm Diane Applewhite. Thank you for checking me out. Today I am making a sausage and egg breakfast casserole. Let me show you. I'm frying a pound of pork sausage and I'm smashing it up as I go because I want to make sure that it is nice and crumbled. No big chunks, no large pieces. Here I am greasing a nine by 13 inch baking dish really, really well with butter. I'm gonna place four cups of French bread that I cut into cubes into the bottom of the dish. Any day old bread will do. And spread it out in the pan and then I'm going to sprinkle about a fourth cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese on top of it. I think I add a little bit more so it's more like a half cup more than a half cup that I'm going to put on the top. I am cracking 10 large eggs. This is the 10th one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little whisk to my eggs. I'm going to add a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese, which brings my total cheese amount to two cups. So far, give that a little mix, and then I'm going to add four cups. This is four cups of milk. Actually, I'm using two cups of half and half and two cups of 2% milk. I'm going to pour that in. Yep, that's a lot. Wow. You kind of can mix that in nice and slow. Making sure I get this mixed really well. Now that it is, I'm going to add a half cup of mushrooms that I cooked beforehand. I kind of, I cooked them in a little olive oil. And then I'm going to, I'm sprinkling about a teaspoon of salt. About a half teaspoon of onion powder. And about a half, no, about a teaspoon, of course, black pepper. I'm going to get that mixed in. Move our mix out of the way. Bring back our dish. Yes. And then I'm going to take the mix and pour it over the top of the bread and the cheese. Put all that cheese at the bottom. Then I'm going to get a fork and kind of whisk it around. And what I'm going to do is let this sit for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I am going to top it off with the sausage. And as you can see, I didn't take it out dish. I just kind of left it there. And I'm just going to scoop it out with my hands and start to sprinkle the top of the mix with the sausage. I'm going to try to scoop some of this on here with 
without getting any of the grease that's at the bottom of the skillet. Even it out some before I place it in the oven. And this is where, you know, you can add any kind of toppings that you like. I just like to keep it uh, simple. This is going into the oven that's preheated to 325 degrees. And I'm gonna let it bake for an hour. Well, here it is, y'all. Mmm, the sausage and the cheese. It smells so warm and inviting. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish it with just a little bit, I think, of just a tad bit of bacon bits, just a tad. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with some chives. And then I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes. Cool down some. I got some fruit out in the back. So let's see about cutting into this here right here. Yeah. Here we go. Onto this plate. Mm, mm, mm. Alrighty. Breakfast casserole. Yep. Just take a taste of it and see. Mmm. Wow. Might want to let it set a little bit longer, but I had to taste it right now. Mm. Sausage and egg breakfast casserole. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.